what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and today I am really excited because I'm busting out my cocoa vanilla midnight collection for the first time I have been drooling over this collection while it's just been sitting in my craft room just kind of taunting me that I haven't been able to open the box yet because I've had some other projects to do first but I can finally dive into it today I have to admit this is one of my favorite layouts I've done for a while and I know I say that often but this really really is one of my favorite layouts that I've done for a while and it wasn't too tricky to put together either so I, I hope you enjoy it so first up I've got a little strip of basil marshmallow cardstock and I've got some Jane Davenport watercolors because they were sitting on my desk ready to use and I am just making some messy background splodgy watercolor goodness and I'm sticking to a a blue patch and an orangey coral patch and the reason why is because of the colored papers that are in uh, the midnight collection so I'm going through and then adding a little bit of extra color on top just to make it a bit interesting I will be using this piece of cardstock to punch out some shapes in a moment so off camera I punched out a heap of stars from that mixed media piece that I just created as well as some of the other papers from the Midnight Collection and you can see now why I went to the blues and the oranges. Orange is a color that pops really well on blue because they are opposites on the color wheel and so if you're ever looking for a color to contrast with your photo if you've got a very blue photo try an orange background or the opposite as well. So this is a little photo of Arch and I holding hands in the back of, uh, was it in the back of the taxi? No, in the back when we hired a car, uh, we went away with some friends and it's not often that I, well, I get to sit in the back seat with Arch and uh, because there were, how many of us were there in this car? I think there were six of us, six plus, no, five four adults and a baby uh, so we we were able to sit next to each other and he just reached over and grabbed my hand and I just I had to snap a little photo of that so I'm using this beautiful beautiful dark inky watercolory background and I absolutely love it I had a bit of trouble figuring out the matting for this photo because I didn't want to I didn't want to choose anything that would take away from the stars because I really want them to be the the focus uh, like embellishment of the page so I ended up getting the 6x8 paper pad and using a navy stripe and then I went through and I found this wood grain that I really liked but I didn't know if it was going to work with the the stars I thought it, the white might be too too contrasty with the background and so in the end I do just go with the navy paper and then I tried this tissue paper but I didn't like that either so in the end I thought nope time to stick it down and move on with the rest of the page so then I I stuck it up in the top half and I really like the look of a diagonal design design sorry got a bit tongue-tied there I really like the look of a diagonal design I think it's pleasing on uh, the eye especially with these rectangular compositions as opposed to traditional 12 by 12 scrapbook pages I think it's just a, a pleasant way to organize the page and I sped this up four times fast this part because there was about 10 minutes of me sticking these tiny stars on everywhere um, so I'm just using my scotch tacky glue and just sticking them down trying to mix up the colors a little bit so there's not uh, try not to have two stars of the same type next to each other so like I said the other stars are cut out from uh, various other papers in the Midnight Collection and then I also did some gold ones with some gold glitter cardstock from my stash. So I'm just continuing to stick those down and it, it took a little while but I got them all down in the end. 
And I've sped this next bit up to supersonic speed so that we can move on with the rest of the video. I tried to keep the widest part of my diagonal of stars uh, on the bottom half of the page and then have the top as a little bit more thinned out and I guess a little more wispy, uh, not as piled in, I guess you could say. And the reason why I went with this design is I made a layout while I was at a scrapbook retreat uh, earlier this year and I did this same sort of thing with the stars going across the page and I, I just I loved it so much and it's been um, a kind of a scrap lift that I've wanted to do of my page for a while and so when I saw this background I thought that it would be the perfect base to have those stars because the stars are very busy and you you can't really do this look on a, a pattern paper background that also has a busy pattern like a floral or a crazy polka dot or geometric you kind of need a, a plain sort of background and I, I thought this was just just worked out so now I'm going through, I was really excited to see that Zoe released these with this collection. There's just a whole bunch of titles. And so I decide on this one that says you and me, and I'm just going to stick that down in a moment with my tacky glue. Now, because this layout, it, it has a lot happening with those stars. It's, it's quite a busy one. And so I didn't feel the need to really do too many embellishments. I found a nice quote online about uh, holding hands. It's a quote that's probably meant to be about your significant other, but I, I thought that I would use it here um, because I love using quotes. If you watch any videos on my second channel, Let's Get Inky, you'll know that I am quite obsessed with putting quotes in my art journaling and my junk journaling. And I, I just think that sometimes when you're either stuck for the words to describe something or um, it's maybe a, a topic that you don't know how to express what you're feeling. Sometimes quotes can help you kind of make that easier to, to say what you want to say uh, without having to think of the words yourself from scratch. I hope those words that came out of my mouth just then made sense. But I just, I, I think that sometimes quotes can really um just sum up how how you're feeling about a situation so then i'm adding some teeny tiny gold stars i punch these out oh that punch by the way because i know someone will message me and ask it's by ek success uh, and i don't know what it's called but it's just got lots of stars on it and the one that i use to get these really tiny stars is a fiskers handheld uh, single star punch I felt like I just needed a few tiny ones just to make it not look so blocky with the stars I just needed a bit a bit more variation in size so I'm just sticking those down and I, I had a look at the sticker sheet while it was there next to me and I did add a couple of those tiny word stickers because I felt like it was nice to have a another font because you've got the typewriter font, you've got the brush lettering title font, and then you've got my brush lettering underneath or scripty font underneath. And I just, I didn't feel like it needed any more embellishing. So I hope you enjoyed this video today, peeps. If you'd like to see some more up close uh, photos, you can head over to the Coco Vanilla blog. But it was just, it was a really fun layout to make, easy to scrap lift. And please let me know if you do scrap lift any of my layouts, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to check them out and see what you come up with. Have a good week. Bye.